when we had last left the Spacefarer. Their adventures took them back to Jemison, where they had to debrief with two of their other follower companions of Constellation, Andresia and Barrett, who actually had some stuff to say about uh, the old goings-on from long before, uh, back with the Freestar Rangers, and surprisingly had very little else to say about the recent marriage between the Spacefarer and Sarah Morgan. But that was neither here nor there, because they found themselves elsewhere. Yes, at Tadach... T Tadacha, a weird cool planet filled with a beautiful sight uh, to behold. Now it was time to do a little bit more exploring and see what lurk around the settled systems. This is Starfield. Welcome back. Zoop, zoop, zoop. There we are. And let us head on out. But actually, before we do that, I am thinking we invest a point into... Theft, maybe? I was thinking maybe scavenging, but I don't know. Right. I don't know. I'm kind of into not persuasion. Deception would have been nice, I think. But convincing ships to surrender is not really something we do a lot of, at least for the time being. Right. I don't know. Well, we could do gastronomy. Have another crafting one. Yeah, maybe we do that. Here, do we have any gastronomy we can, like, perform right now? That's a rare here. thing to know they're right here and now. Here, our galley. Might just Use be this. Your life. Okay, great. I'm not sure how I'm actually using this right now, but, uh, sure. Bullet coffee. We can actually make that. Okay. I can make water, distilled water, water purified by reverse osmosis. Huh. I'll do it. Okay. Hmm. Wow, we really need distilled water for a lot of these. Okay. Huh. Eh, F it, let's make some coffee. Made with butter, actually. I don't think I've ever had coffee made with butter in real life. I don't know. Let's make some of that. Good. Okay, and that's all we can do for now. Hmm. Uh, we need spice for a bunch of these. Bread and spice. Okay. Sure. You're looking All right. splendid today. Maybe we, however, put one into theft. I, I do like pickpocketing. I do enjoy that. Let's do it. A captain? Okay. Now, let's bring up our map. Is there anything else out here that we need to check out or explore? Not in this system. Okay. We could look at Copernicus Minor. Heisenberg we've been to. What level is this place? 45. Yeah, Copernicus Minor we have not been at. Oh. Alright. Huh. There's also Zosma. Hmm. Yeah, there's a fair few out here. That we haven't been to whatsoever, huh? Okay. You can't rotate the star map completely. Which maybe is for the best, because it would be very difficult to navigate it. <laughs> right? <laughs> huh. Sure. Anything else cool over here? Nirvana? Bolivar? Fuck it, let's check out Bolivar. That sounds fun. Let's have a look. Let's see what's there. Let's just see what's there. Okay. Anything cool? Give it a scan. Not picking up anything. Ooh, it's a red sun. Okay. 
How's it, uh, how's it look? Does it look very red and spooky? Does it have, like, a... No? Okay. Fair enough, yeah. <laughs> I guess, I guess it would look like that. Is there actually anything on this planet? There is! There is marginal life. Weird, okay. It looks very sickly. We got hills, savanna... Okay... Frozen plains... Wetlands coast... Deciduous forest? Okay, we'll check out a forest. Yeah, I don't know what it was with the, the new update, but it definitely makes it to where we get so many more of our custom photo mode picks. Okay, let's just get up. We'll take a quick nap before we poke around on this planet. Doesn't look terribly cool, I think, right? Nothing to write home about. I don't know, maybe there's something weird or fucked up here. It does sustain life. That, that's something in and of itself. I hate. Oh, now I'm more tired than when we God. went to bed. I heard Jesus. That what happened with Ron. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the, the creamy man's response could not have had better timing. Okay. Sure. I guess it's mostly just the... Ooh. Hunting brain squid. It's mostly the sort of purplish-looking foliage that I'm not a big fan of. Got Red lattice bulb. Huh. Explorer's coleus? Coleus? Got some natural over there. Look at this thing. Oh my god! It's invisible! It has cloaking! What? Kill it! <laughs> oh my gosh, even in death! Whoa! What the fuck? Wow, that is... that is wild. Okay. Sure. Huh. Ew, look. How is that possible? Look at them all! There's a bunch around here. They are wary. They're fairly low level, though. Okay. Well, thank fuck they're not angry, I guess. That'd be terrifying. Got some tungsten, red lattice bulb. We'll check out one of these naturals before we take off and check out another system. Okay. Huh. Oh, I feel bad. It sounds kind of like a fun little elephant. Let's see. Let's have some of our tea. They have anything good on them? They have a bunch of quark degenerate tissue. This is fucking wild. Toxin bone, toxin vital fluids. So they do have like some sort of toxic nature? It is pretty wild that our scanner is not revealing the fact that uh, these are like cloaking creatures. You know, I feel like that's a pretty big one <laughs> to, to include on the scanner. Like, yeah, this one, uh, you know, it bends light or something. It's invisible. You can see through it. <laughs> okay. Sure, we are getting some extreme solar radiation, but it doesn't seem to be doing us much harm. Right, other than we have a red blip on our radar. Let's do a quick save in case these things are actually a major threat. It's not so bad that they're invisible when they're enormous, you know. Very easy to land a hit. Oh, there's little dudes here, too. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? It's like a little spaghetti guy. Tubule filterer. 
God, they're so noisy, too. They don't know how to shut the hell up. Okay, I'll take some of that. Oh, we're almost at this natural. More of them over there. Sure. Part of me is tempted to put more points into our scanner, you know? But you could really run through with your scanner pretty damn fast with enough upgrades. Like I said last time, I do wish that there were, you know, XP bonuses that you could have on your scanner. I guess we should kill these poor bastards. Sorry, friends. <laughs> what do you see, Sarah? Is it that one? I guess so. Okay. There's our natural that we need to get to. Good. Or you know what I would do as well? To sort of balance the, the value of scanning creatures relative to killing them? Have it to where you get XP as well on every single scan, right? Have it to where there's an upgrade to where you get like half the XP for a kill, um, but you get it with every single scan that you do, you know? Then I would do it, rather than just have having the lump sum at the end. Okay, over here. Great. Unexplored ecological feature. Okay. It doesn't look all too different from the hives we had seen before, though. Hunting brain squid. Oh, one of these weird freaks. I think we've seen them before. Oh, fuck, I don't know! Jesus. Oh, it looks disgusting, man. Wow, it's got a whole bunch of shit on it. Vitinium, aldemite, hallucinogen, membrane, and iron. Ugh. Ugh, look at them. They look like some kind of chthonic monstrosity. Are these its eyes, or is this its eye? And these are like fake eyes. It looks like just it being alive is painful. Right? Oh, fuck, Sarah. Don't point that at me, that's terrifying. Right, like, look at this. This is like very fleshy and exposed. You know, these are like some intestines out here. That can't be good. Are there creatures like that in reality where you can just, like, they roam above ground? And you can just see, like, seemingly exposed organs? Hope you've calibrated that thing. Hive structure again. Okay. Well, Sarah, I think there may only just be this one. Are we meant to go to the others? Good god, man, I think so. Okay. Yeah, for real. Getting some sealant here. It says that we need it, but I'm not sure that that's true anymore. Structural. That's useful. Huh. Well, shit me, dude. Maybe we should go over to one of these other naturals. Ship landing site? Oh, maybe that's the fucking aliens. Okay. Up here. Good. All right, yeah, we may as well check out another natural and get our three scans in. Why not, right? 
We'll see how much we get for, for scanning a ecological feature such as this. I'm not sure it's worth it, you know? All right, tungsten out here, sure. Let's continue over this way. Okay. What if it's a different ecological feature though? That's entirely possible. I'm not picking up anything else really out here though. Hmm. More of these fucking dudes. Let's do a quick save and gun them down. There we are. Some of those brain squids. Jesus, look at them all. I can't really tell where one begins and another ends. Maybe their their colors are perceptible to a different creature, you know? Like there's isn't it like dogs or something can see a different different color or no, like it's a bug, isn't it? Like there's other bugs and shit that can see colors that humans can't. Dogs can like smell shit though, right? Is that what I'm thinking of? They can smell stuff that human beings cannot. Okay. Got these little nasty guys. I'm gonna save in front of one of them. Maybe I want to get their picture. They're so disgusting. Ugh. Yeah, they have a decent amount of loot. Some water over here. All right, this is one of the ones we just scoop. Okay. I do definitely need membrane in order to turn our water into distilled water. Okay, thank goodness it's another hive area. Oh, how come I can't scan this one? Yeah, why is that? Hmm. We definitely hadn't been to this one before, had we? Oh, weird. Okay. Where's another nesting area that we can scan, though? Oh, there we are. Hive structures. Maybe it's a different body of it? Yeah. Ecological consortium. Sure. Dense roots, fibers, and other biotic structures. Yeah, it's the same as before. There's a cave over there. Okay. How much XP did we get for that? I don't even know. Okay. Sure. Well, what have we all scanned out here? Fauna, one out of three. Flora, four, three out of four. Resources, five out of six. Yeah, there's another creature. No, we've seen all three creatures, right? There's the little spaghetti dude. There's the disgusting, like, brain monsters. Oh, hey! Is this what they look like? <laughs> look at their face! Oh, shit. Ooh. What is this? It's like already partially translucent. Okay. I guess that's a little redundant, but... Yeah, they're like weird dinosaur dudes. Huh. Oh, what fun. Okay. Sure. Another natural over yonder. Okay, let's get the hell out of here, I think. 
There we are. And yeah, we can check out this other place. Rivera. Anything cool here? I picked up something you might be interested in. It's okay, Sarah. Anything in these rocks worth digging? What have we got? Just Mineral deposit. Oh, Over. you see Pelican. Hello. Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. Okay. Uh, hang on. Hang on, you see Pelican. I would love to know s what you have to say. This is a commercial passenger transport liner wanting to alert you about hostels in the system. Okay. Well, I appreciate the warning. It's our company's policy. Us friendlies have got to watch each other's backs out here. Safe travels, stranger. Okay. What about this mineral deposit? What have we got going on with this? Whenever I'm lost, I think, what would you do in my shoes? Not Water and tetrafluorides. Same across the board here. Water and tetrafluorides. Yeah. Seems like this is just ice. Okay, we got a civilian outpost here. Wow. And an industrial outpost. Okay. This planet does sustain life. It's got pretty high gravity. Almost twice. Almost double the gravity. <laughs> Double the gravity. Okay, how about over here? Hmm. Look, there's some ellipses there. I guess that means we're picking up something? Yeah. Mining outpost. Abandoned weapons station. Ooh. Okay. Let's check that out real quick. I mean, very clearly, there's going to be, like, spacers or ecliptic or whatever the fuck here, you know? But I would like to see an abandoned weapons station. I don't think we've seen one of them. Okay. Bring up our map. Do a quick scan. Yep, it's a barren moon. How about this? Is this thing fucked up? It is. It is devoid of life. Okay, also devoid of life. Alright. Huh, I wonder why they decide to set up a weapon station on this moon. What's it got? Helium-3, aluminum, beryllium, neodymium. Huh, okay. Maybe for the low gravity or something? I don't know. Hmm. Alright, fuck it. Or its proximity to the planetoid here? Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, well, let's go over here and let's check it out. Have a land. The outpost management skill allows you to improve your outpost by placing additional cargo links, building more robots, hiring addition additional additional crew. This bird on the Captain. Good. I hear Constellation has been collecting a ton of new things. Ancient things. Do you think people want... Imagine okay. being marooned on a planet like this. I don't know how you'd survive. <laughs> Sarah, are you, you still thinking about that? <laughs> you still thinking about how that happened to you? <laughs> Definitely takes on some new meaning in knowing uh, what the fuck went on with you in your past. Got some ecliptic bozos. Oh, I, can't, I can't be a failure. Okay. Got a ship there being worked upon. We're fairly low level here. Yeah, they're like shockingly low level. Oh, accidentally took a Grendel. Okay. Let's turn on our P 
people tracker? Oh, there's a person over here. Ecliptic agent. Good. Gotcha. Let's get some healing going on. Oh! Should we check in here? Picking up any dudes? We are. Oh, combat slide! Oh, fuck. You are actually high level. Gonna knock you. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> I never got up because I kept just falling nonstop. Okay, I love that. Get some asshole up here. Whoa, you're level 60? Oh my god. Okay, this could be bad. Okay, I'm running. Oh, let me out! Okay. Maybe we should use a different weapon type here. Oh, fuck. Where are they at? There they are. Oh, okay, yeah, we should be juggling them, huh? What is this? Oh. Technicians calibrated deep core spacesuit. That well, looks kind of fun. But uh, doesn't really do anything of value. Particle grenade. Is that new? Taking it. Okay. Pop open the door here. Alright, here's our higher level enemies, huh? Fuck, I'm really going up into this. Got some poutine? Over here. Got you. Take the paste. Let's get our detecto vision on. Nice. Head pack there. Get our shit reloaded as best we can. Oh, got a Robo Lord. I would love it if some of these explosive weapons had enough explosive impact to actually send enemies just flying without the need to hit them with some bullshit. System failure. Taking that zero wire. Okay. Got you. Oh, purple. Rapid osmium dagger. Twenty-five percent increase in attack speed. That is pretty nice for a melee weapon. Okay. Anything back here? I don't know. Huh. Computer? Is this a Robo Lord? Yeah, it is. Okay, we know what that goes to then. Couple of giant balls over here. Vent we can pop. Oh. 
Oh, emergency access. Okay. We can't open it from this end. Sure. Well, we should probably run back to that other building that had the really high level in them, in there, and uh, see if there's a magazine or a sort of big treasure, right? There's still at least one more enemy showing up on our radar every now and then. Got some sealant. Oh. Rapid advanced pacifier. Now this is pretty damn good. Okay. 10% damage versus humans. Probably the best in the fucking game, right? Let's be real, we're fighting a lot of humans. 25% increase to attack speed on a shotgun. That seems pretty nice. Alright, I'm taking it. Oh. I wish, um... You swapped out the actual binding, too. When you held to equip. You know, not unlike... Um, what is it? Borderlands, I think, does that. Okay, and let's put that on two. Great. Been a while since we used a ballistic weapon. Well, I guess aside from just kind of screwing around with a pistol now and then. Okay, anything else good back here? Nah. Okay, where is this other person at? Oh, is it a robot? It is, but I don't know where it's at. Huh. Oh well. Let's see, if I were a bonus magazine, I think I would be up here. In this section. Ooh, an advanced lock, okay. Holy hell, dude, okay, um, hmm. Perfect. Nailed it. Alright, and then... We can get one of these going on if we want to. Do I want to, though? Is this our secret solution here? Nah, I don't fucking know. Okay, this, and then we could do... This, like, Y-shaped one. Yeah, perfect. Great. Got some sealant, reactive gauge, pipe wrench, no thank you. An advanced Orion. Got a safe... Uh, it is a master line. You know, I'm gonna do it. Okay. Let's, um... Let's throw in here. Do we just have one that immediately solves this? No. Good. And then... Let's try out... Uh, okay. Let's just auto-slot that. Great. And then... Pop that in there. Another auto-slot. Get that twofer. And then we'll finish it off with a single. Great. Instigating negotiator. Whoa. Is this a new fucking weapon? This is a fucking grenade launcher. Is this new? Have I seen one of these before? I don't think I have, have I? Or if I have, I've forgotten about it. It uses bridger ammo, interestingly. Wow. And instigating on a high damage explosive weapon like this. That's pretty decent. That said, it seems as if it's just a baseline one. Okay. Man. I haven't seen such a thing, have I? I'm taking everything out of there. Wow, for once, breaking into a safe was fucking worth it, huh? Holy shit. Okay. Well, let's get rid of our Bridger, huh? God, is it actually worse than the Bridger? 
It is because it has a lower fire rate. Oh. Huh. Let's just see how it works, though. It's kind of cool, huh? Look at this thing. Here, I'm gonna fire off a bunch of shit. Can I just hold it down? No. Dude, it rocks! It sounds so awesome! God, how how can I get more of this ammo? This thing fucking owns! Uh, uh, uh. Look at that shit! Okay. Let's reload. I don't want to waste that ammo. <laughs> it's, it's rare enough as it is. Okay. That said, not ideal for instigating anymore, huh? Since it's meant to be more of a rapid fire version of the, the Bridger. How about this hat? Is this a good hat? Eh. I mean, the stats on it are good. But uh, I'd rather have some affixes too. UC Defense Manual 4. Further increases magazine size for all weapon bash and weapon bash critical chance for all allied armaments guns? Isn't that what this is? Isn't this allied? Yeah, it says right there. You can just about make it out. So I'm at 12 right now. What? It's done nothing. Have I already found that one, maybe? Okay, well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> okay. This is why I don't really enjoy the, the more procedural nature of it, because, you know, if you're going to have it to where you go into places that are also similar, and you find these magazines, I kind of want the magazines to endlessly stack, dude, right? I kind of want them to just, like, like, it sucks if I find a duplicate magazine and it don't do shit, you know? It's kind of unfortunate. Okay. Facility workers note. Daryl, we told you a million times it's none of our business what the client is going to do with their shipment. So stop asking. It makes them nervous and it's bad for business. I don't care if it's weapons, chems, or tech. It doesn't matter. What the client does with them is their problem. If something happens, we don't want to be implicated. This is becoming a bad habit of yours. Don't let it happen again. Red Trench. I don't think this was like our end of dungeon loot area, though. It just so happened that we found an instigating explosive weapon there. Right? Normally there's a bigger, you know, like a D20 looking container or something. Worth the loot trough. Oh, like maybe in here. Ah, oh, there we are. A treasure chest. Take some of that. What is this thing? Oh, it's horrible. Oh, I don't like it at all. Everything about it's bad. <laughs> okay. Consume some chunks. As well as that. Not working there. Emptied cup. Helmet any good? And once again, the baseline stats are decent, but... Uh, no affixes makes me kind of sad. Okay. God, yeah, I think that's just where I'm at. I think I'm just a heavy weapons lover. Right? I, I think I just have to face facts. I just think heavy weapons are dope. This facility is impressive. There's enough infrastructure to build an entire fleet. Okay. Mind you, this is technically a heavy weapon, but it doesn't have the, like, tool grip, right? Which we have for other things, like for the auto riveter or whatever it was called. This is very much have- it has a grip like a, a standard sort of shotgun or assault rifle or whatever. A regular two-handed gun grip. Okay. Sure. One of the things I do appreciate, though, is that, um, for this, right, it does actually specify what is what these weapon types are at a higher level, right? Like, this is a particle beam pistol, 
it tells us right there. That's really, that's really nice. This is a shotgun. This is melee. This is considered heavy, right? Like in another world, I would be wondering, is a Bridger a heavy weapon, right? And by another world, I mean in Fallout 4. <laughs> that, is, that is the other world. Or this, this Kodama is a rifle, right? I would almost say, oh, this could be a pistol, right? This is like an SMG, you know? This is like a middle ground between rifle and pistol. Which which way does it go? I do very much appreciate that. Okay. I know a few engineers back on Jemison that would love to pick through this assembly area. All right. So let's head over here to this other section that we've got ellipses, right? This. What is here? Mine output, mining outpost. I'm assuming this will be friendlies, right? They'll be like, oh, we're, we're a bunch of miners. We just can't get our shit together. Jeez, random spacefaring adventure. Why don't you help us with our bullshit? <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, we are having a problem and need help. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. The school district is supposed to do maintenance on the ships. But our grav drive's cracked and leaking helium-3. The ship can't jump right now. Wow. Um, what's helium-3? Helium-3 is a stable isotope of How do you not know? Sixth grade? What's a grav drive? How do you, you not know? know? What a grav drive is. Oh, you should. You wrote a paper on it. <laughs> I'm not sure Billy does know what a grav drive is. Class, please talk quietly amongst yourselves. This is important. That is so wild. Do you have any extra ship parts? Yeah, yeah, sure. Tell me how many ship parts you need. I hope you're getting hazard pay. Sounds like you deserve it. I can't help you. Goodbye. How could you put the school district... How could the school district put you all in danger? How could they? The whole fleet is made of charitable donations, so the ships are always breaking down. And the district's mechanics are few and overworked. Okay, this this tracks. At least in the American school system, this tracks. This is like the spaceship version of, like, reusing old textbooks and stuff that have been vandalized or, like, old electronic equipment or whatever. Okay. How many ship parts do you need? Let me see. Mrs. Whitmore, who are you talking to? Is it a pirate? Pirates? There are pirates? What? No. No pirates. Everyone is safe. Actually, I'm a member of Constellation. I'm a pirate, all right. Stand and deliver. Just kidding. Free Star Ranger check. I'm the opposite of a pirate. I'm a Free Star Ranger. United Colonies Vanguard Captain. I'm with the UC Vanguard. You're in safe hands, kids. Just another traveler in the void. Hmm. I wonder why Constellation isn't like a check here. I guess because no matter what, if you encounter, encounter them, you're a member of Constellation. No, you can get far enough in the story. Like, there's a part where you become officially a member. Right? Hmm. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm a member of Constellation. How do you know what, what Constellation is, but you don't know what Helium-3 and a Grav Drive is? In space, you can encounter all sorts of fascinating people. Now, everyone, settle down. The driver said ship parts should be sufficient for us to repair our ship. Ten ship parts? Are you fucking kidding me? Ten of them? Even my ship doesn't need ten. Is this a fucking scam? Are these even actually kids? Y'all using like a voice? Are y'all pirates? Oh my god. This is like s space lane robbery. Okay, fuck. Uh, here you go. Ten ship parts, Mrs. Whitmore. What the fuck? Thank you so much. Stay safe out there. Thanks. Class, we'll be leaving shortly. Everyone buckle in. Can you imagine being in the sixth grade and not know in this world, in this universe, and not knowing what a grav drive is or helium three? 
Like, I don't even know shit about cars, but I, cu I couldn't fathom being in the sixth grade and not knowing what, like, gasoline is. Not knowing that cars have an engine, right? Well, what the fuck? <laughs> How do you not know? How do you not know? Like, sure, maybe you don't know, like, what an alternator is or what it does, but you know it's in there in the engine area, right? Like, what the fuck? You, you don't need to know every single part of, of the car, you know, every individual cable or, or tube or whatever the fuck, but you don't know about the grab drive? How do you not know? How do you not know? Sixth grade, my ass. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go over here to the mining outpost. And ten ship parts? Does Mrs. Whitmore even know what a fucking grab drive is? Apparently not. No wonder these kids don't know. Mrs. Whitmore needed ten ship parts to fix her bullshit little fucking rinky-dink motherfucking spaceship. Mine is like five million times the size of that thing. How I many do we, we barely need like four or five to repair this fucking giant piece of shit? <laughs> My God, what, what are they teaching kids these days? Jeez. All right. Apparently nothing. <laughs> okay, let's um, let's deposit some stuff here. We got we got too much going on. Let's see here. Swap to my inventory, and we will deposit this Big Bang and. Our calibrated bridger. Okay. Great. I do need to fave this, uh... What's it called? Negotiator. Okay. Right there. Perfect. Can I modify it to have any cool shit going on? Can I... Can I do that? Let's check our weapon mod bench. Perfect. Let's see here. Standard barrel. A long one. What does that do? Increased accuracy, recoil, and range at the cost of ADS speed. Hmm. Stabilizing. Specialized mag-assisted barrels vastly increase accuracy and recoil control. Okay. Does it, though? Yeah, look at that. It says it increases accuracy vastly, and yet it has no differential there. Huh. Okay. Not sure if I believe that bullshit. Okay, got iron sights, reflex... Sure. Need my help? Grip and stock. Tactical stock. Lighter stock for quicker aim down sights and better stability. Okay. We'll reduce its carry weight. I think in an ideal situation, though, I would want high accuracy because I, I just love hip firing stuff. What about the uh, rounds here? Hornet's nest. Explosive rounds explode downwards into a cluster of mini explosions. Well, that sounds cool as shit. Okay. Skin? Hmm. Internal. Hair trigger. Ah. Okay. Yeah, we'll use the tactical stock for now, I guess. Oh, that's a hell of a gun modification. <laughs> okay, take it easy there, Sarah. Let's see, should we get the long barrel? I kind of like it looking short, though. It reminds me of the Mass Effect 3 heavy weapon. That was like a grenade launcher. Honestly, my favorite one in that game. Or I'm thinking of 2, aren't I? I'm thinking of Mass Effect 2, not 3. Okay, how about this shotgun? It's a pretty good one. Give it anything? No. Can't be done. Okay. Oh, we could throw down a tactical mag. Sure. 
I'll do it. Oh, we could give it slug shots. Huh. I like the idea of that. Because our pistol is already kind of a, a shotgun. You know what? Yeah, I'm, t I'm taking it back. I'm going for the slug shots. We'll make it long range. How fun is that? Are there other mods that can increase range even further? No. At least not there. Okay. Internal. High powered. Ooh, high velocity. That does increase the uh, the range by 4.8. That said, high powered is pretty nice too. Though probably unnecessary. Okay. I like it. Okay. Yeah, our shotgun is long range and our pistol is a, a shotgun. Okay, let's have a rest here before we check out this area. Do you think the documentary or I guess, or I guess we'll fuck Sarah real quick. Every, every time we're just banging Sarah, I guess. Okay. How's our shotgun look there? Oh, nice. And it is shooting, yep, a single slug it looked like. And some radiation out here. Fair enough. There's our mining station. I'm guessing they're gonna want us to go over there. That structure. Okay, we'll see what they want real quick. We can go fuck up some pirates or whatever the hell real fast with our new equipment. Okay. Got some europium. Good. Some signs of the helium-3, huh? Got some other junk over here. It's technically theft. Okay, what have we got in this big dumpster? I'm just taking it all. Okay, Sarah didn't, didn't see. <laughs> okay, great. Seeing any of this good stuff that we want? Huh. There's a europium just in the ground. That's wild. Aluminum. Still no helium 3, though. Okay. Yeah, this is a I mining facility just like the other. Oh, there! Shop's open if you want to take a look. This job's boring as hell, but it sure beats lugging around all those rocks. What have you got? Trade. Yeah, what what hell what all do you have? You have weapons? A modified arc welder. Okay, that makes sense. Laser cart. Mining suit, apparel. Whoa, minor utility outfit. Have we seen this before? Are we seeing new shit because we're in higher level systems now? Is that what's up? Feels it. Hmm. Okay. Resources. Anything we need? Fuck, I don't remember. I don't think we need any of this, though. Okay. Can I sell you weapons? I can. Well, then I shall. I'll take a hit. It's fine. How do you like this job? Eh, pays the bills. I wish I worked closer to home, but what are you gonna do? Yeah, what are you gonna do? I've got do? a gaggle of kids in Aquila City, and somebody's gotta keep them all fed. How how does that even work, though, in a world with grav drives, you know? Or maybe you just stay out here, right? You don't go back. You just stay out here for periods of time. Okay, what do you think of your supervisor? Total hard ass. We've had a ton of turnover already, and it's only been a few weeks since we set up shop. We'll lose the whole crew if the supervisor doesn't cool it. Myself included. Nobody likes working overtime. Okay, good talk. Goodbye, friend. 
My back's never gonna be the same after this job. Okay. Need some credits, newcomer? I've got something I could use a hand with. Scanners picked up some mineral deposits in a cave nearby. We need some boots on the ground to verify the scan. Oh. And get a taste of the minerals. Make sure it's worth sending a work crew. Whatever you can carry out is all yours. We just need to scan anything you find. Sure, I'll, I'll do that. Looks like I'm mining, like old times. Is it thrilling work? No. Is it fulfilling? Okay, yeah, we've heard that. I'll go out to that fucking I've got cave. All basics. Yeah. Mine the minerals at cave. Sure. How far out is it? Yeah, it's only 500 meters. Shit, I'm surprised we didn't go to structure. Look, there's another structure there, too. Hey, here's our helium-3. Ah, look at that, fully surveyed. A whopping 57 XP for it. This is what I'm saying, they gotta increase the... Uh, the reward for that. Have it scale up with your perks or the planet level. Both? Why not both? Right, especially since... Your main line, you're always in Constellation. You know? Have it to where... You know, for doing some exploring, some scanning, some cataloging. You get you get a, a good amount of shit for that, right? I was hoping I would get to shoot some dudes for using our new weapons. But hey, we do need some resources too. Ooh, what the fuck? This cave is farting. Uh oh, well. You know what? Let's head back and <laughs> tell him right away. No, you can't go to this cave. It's, it's a farting cave. <laughs> it's, it's no fucking good. <laughs> okay. Jeez, how is it farting? Yeah, there's just a fart coming out of it. Weird. Okay. Let's head in. Turn on our little flashlight. Any weird monstrous freaks in here? Got more of this stuff. Forgot we had seen it on like Tadachi or Tadacha, the planet, right? Got a rock pile. We do actually have to dig it, right? Yeah. Take all those. Okay. Anything here? Not ah, showing up our showing us our last ones. Good, good, good. Okay, got some more over this way. I have to wonder, you know how we've seen these like seemingly battery packs on them? On the uh, the cutters? I have to wonder, at some point, was it, you know, you know how we discerned, like, oh yeah, could totally see it where the cutters and stuff, they would need to be recharged, you would need to fill them back up with energy after you use them for an extended period of time. I, I bet there's a world as well in which reason to go out to these mining outposts and stuff, pick up Helium-3. Right, for your ship. Pick up battery packs for your cutter. You know? These points of friction that we know got cut from the game. We don't know exactly in what form, but I could totally see that being the case. And it'd give you reason to come out and do these real quick. Rather than just having like, oh, go out there and you get to keep the minerals, you get to keep the, um, whatever, right? You come out here, they give you like, two or three cutter battery packs. Or you could even buy some. Right? Have it to where... Right? Yeah. You have a choice. You either come out here and you buy some, or of course you go to a city and you buy some too. But if you're kind of like stuck out in the middle of nowhere or you're operating from a certain system and you don't want to expend your fuel in your ship, come over here and you you pick up a... a few... <laughs> you pick up some power converters at Tashi Station now. <laughs> you pick up some cutter batteries and all that out here. And uh, you can either spend your credits 
or you do a quick little quest for them if you're completely, you know, that way the player isn't completely screwed out of it if they're, like, kind of stuck in a hard space um, without money. And they're like, oh shit, I need fuel, I need battery packs for my cutter, stuff like that. Well, you can either just buy it, or they, they can be like, oh, well, if you need some extra shit, why don't you do some work for us and we'll see what we can get you. Something like that. Okay, over here. Hey. With this data, we can get our operations up and running in no time. Great. Here you All go. Right, sure. For a job well done. Thanks. Yeah, 172 as well. XP for that. That's like two, two creatures, shooting two people. You know. Okay. Let's head on over here. Well, no, let's go directly into our ship, I think. Oh god, can I even... Yeah, there we are. Alright. And I think we'll call it, for now, as well, we'll call it on the uh, exploration front, and we'll head over to, like, a, a city or something. Or, uh, we could start up the Crimson Fleet bullshit and get on with that and see how where that takes us. We could do all that, right? Okay, until next time, please take care of each other.